Okay, let's take a look at Ad, Ad Finder. I'll just double click the icon and start it right up. The default are teespring.com and Pitbull. You see that you can search for all posts, posts only from business pages, or you can search for posts posted by and liked by your friends. And that's key we're going to get into in a little bit, a nice feature. And then you can specify a date range, what's live, what showed last year, this year, etc. So let's get right into it. I'll go to all and we'll just run the default search, Teespring Pitbull. I've got four results that are live right now. Four Pitbull shirts. If we expand that to this month and run it again, we'll see now we've got more than a thousand results. So you can get plenty of ideas and see what's running on Teespring. Okay, now let's search for viral style football, all posts made this year. And sure enough, we have results there. There's a shirt for the Des Bryant catch. Here's a, a Green Bay Packers shirt. Let's try, see what's running on represent. And you don't even have to put in this keyword. I'll just remove that keyword and say, what's run on represent.com this week? And I've got a bunch of results for different shirts on, on uh, represent.com. So what if you want to catch people running where they don't reveal the domain in their ad I can just put this on limited edition and for now I'll just look for hoodie all posts made this week limited edition hoodie and here we go here's one that's viral style here's another one on Teespring so we're finding them across all domains and you'll notice that each one opens in a new tab so I can just look at the results and when I've seen everything just keep closing these tabs. They don't get uh, jumbled together and each search is an independent tab. Now I know some of my friends use viral style, the people that are on my Facebook friends, so I'm going to put the football search back and I'm, instead of all I'm going to select posted and liked by friends last year and search and I can see some friends of mine liked this particular post, they liked this Packers post, they like the uh, another Florida state. I can see the ad copy. I can see their fan page. You can get a lot of information from this. Sometimes friends will tip their hand if they're if they're marketers. They'll like or share or uh, post some of their own shirts, and that gives you a chance to see what they're up to. But this is not just a T-shirt tool. I want to show you how powerful it is. Let me do something else here. I'm going to put. Keller Williams Houston and let's say you're a real estate agent and you want to see what uh, real estate agents that work for Keller Williams in Houston are running in the past year and this won't usually be direct marketing stuff but you can basically see what other realtors are up to how they're running ads how they're marketing their business with that type of search let's try something different let's try auto insurance and down here in the niche keyword, I'm just going to put special to try to catch people running, you know, specials on auto insurance. And sure enough, here's a special policy for an insurance group. Here's another insurance company. Insurance company after insurance company posting and advertising. You can get some ideas for your own business that way. You could search for any keyword. Okay, now I'm going to put roofing company and you'll notice I'm putting it in quotes that will make sure that Facebook searches for roofing company not roofing and company as separate words I'll search for all this year I'm gonna leave that blank for now and when I search sure enough I've got a uh, Texas roof company advertising here here's an another one Washington roofing company so you can use this to do competitive research on any type of business whatever your niche is and let's do something else so you can just snoop on anything on Facebook we've added a lot of uh, t-shirt sites we've added a lot of words to look for here's a really neat search if you put click most ads will say click here to do whatever to buy or whatever and let me put pendant this year and search and here's a ring for sale here's a pendant for sale so you can catch these people in the Shopify stores selling from their own sites and see the type of products they're selling. You can look at the social proof, 500 likes, 
11 shares. That'll tell you how well something's doing. This is very popular. Don't even know what that's called. A star child awakening pendant. Interesting.